don't have a lot of time to film because I have dance in like about 11 minutes. Around 11 minutes, yeah. But I'm already logged in, good to go. I want to <laughs> tell you something. So I have not been on point in a couple of weeks because... Well, first up, I destroyed my toes. Like, the last time I was on point, like, my toes by the end of it were nothing but, like, there were so many spots of just peeled skin. And my big toe at some point started bleeding. I didn't realize that until I took the band-aids off. Like, and it burned, and it was the not very fun. That jumped my feet adjusting to point, pointing very hard. I want to show you my little point here. Huge shout out to my dad because he tied them because I know nothing about like tying bows and stuff. And so usually if my shoes have to be tied, he ties them because I know how to tie. But every time I tie like I have like JoJo shoes that have to be tied that are a little big so like that works so I can just slip my feet in and out. But anytime I go to tie them, they all come undone like pretty fast. So yeah. Um, so my dad usually ties them especially for dance because if they untie, it could be a tripping hazard, a falling hazard, like so much could happen. That's not good. Okay, I have like the like nine minutes. But um so um then afterwards I want to give my toes like time to fully heal and stuff. And then what ended up happening was I kinda it's easier. Like it's easier to do it not on point. And so I wanted to just give myself like a week or two weeks without like doing on point and just getting the final goodbye of easiness because when before I start challenging myself again that way I could go in ready to challenge myself and go even farther and I was messing around and I have yet to do a full turn on point and I like was messing around a little just like, getting my feet used to it again. And I did a full, I did like a double, I did a triple turn on point. I, well, no, not a triple turn. It was a double, but still, like, a double turn on point. That's really hard. So, I'm really proud of that. I did a double turn on point. And I was going to try to work on leaping on point, but I can't because my bed like my bed is like here and before my room was set up in a way that was kind of I've set up differently so I kind of had more room and before I actually we had a mattress in my parents bedroom for a really long time because at the time um we were planning to get a bed in here and so we finally got in here and now like I can't really do a lot of leaps and stuff so I might have to sit out and jump and turn class today and I'm really annoyed about it. Well actually no, if I put the dance hammock up hmm, and if I set the ballet bar okay, on my bed because I think I'll have room. Here, I'm gonna do that real quick. I'm I'm keeping the ballet bar out right now because I need it in like a few minutes. I was thinking 
And right now, I kind of want to improve my acrobatics by um, putting the dance hammock up that like silk. But the thing with that is I kind of wish there was a way that I could just take it down and put it up sometimes. Because if I don't, I basically have no room in here for my Monday classes. And I take my Monday classes in here. But I do the rest of them in the living room because my mom needs a night, like a night to watch TV and stuff like that. And she gets that on my nights off. But when I have dance, usually she's involved in watching what I'm doing and I'm correcting me and like making sure I'm doing it right. If there's a mistake that I make and the teacher don't point it out, she points it out. And technically, I only have like five more minutes. Wait, like five more minutes, but I'm just gonna go until someone logs on, okay? Then, like, she's very involved, like, making sure that if the teacher doesn't point out a mistake, she points it out, you know, like, she likes me to succeed and she likes to make sure I do good. So, yeah. So, that's exciting. Mm, but now, I think that I always, I can never nail some of the harder turns, but like now I'm, I might be able, also I'm very excited, I have an air conditioner in here now, which is going to help so much because if we have Angela, which sometimes we have Angela as a substitute, hoping tonight we have her, but in a way, I kind of wish we had her on, like, a Wednesday or a Thursday, like, a day where, like, I'm doing it out there. Because I really want my parents to kind of get to know a little bit more of Angela and get to, like, actually kind of meet her a little bit without, like, obviously they wouldn't be, like, talking, but, like, they could kind of see. Mm, and they can see why I love Angela so much. But, uh, like, anytime we get Angela, I'm like, yes. And, so, before, I was very, I would say that I can do a couple different turns, and I'm pretty good at those turns, but sometimes, like, Turns that involve your leg, like, not, like, your leg being up really high, I struggle with. Leg hold turns, um, let's see, air best turns, like, different, I'm overall a really advanced dancer, and I definitely am good at performing, I feel like, I don't know, I haven't really got to perform yet. So, that's exciting, like, I feel like that's really, really good, and right now, I'm hoping that with the next Worldwide, we get a little more hip-hop, um, and maybe a little bit less jumps and turns, even though I love jumps and turns, and it's good dance training, I'm hoping that we kind of get a little bit less because right now, we're getting three classes a week with that. To be honest, like four. Because Gianna Martellos does one on Wednesdays. This one guy, I'm pretty sure it's Tyler or Taylor or something. I don't know his name, okay? I forget. Um, he does a jumps and turns class on Wednesdays, and then on Mondays we have one, and then, no, on Mondays we have like two. We have one with Miss Miranda and Tanya, I'm pretty sure, or Talia, one, 
and then we have another live jumps and turns class on Thursday, so I'm hoping we get a little bit less jumps and turns and more of something else. Okay, people should be logging on by now, and I am going to check if I press the right link. By logging in, yep, yeah, this is the right link. Sorry, I had to make sure it's the right link because there's two, one for like the acro and one something else. Okay, right link. So now I'm just waiting for someone to log on. So, yeah. But, what? Well, but for me, like, I want to focus more on hip hop and performing and, like, improv, like, that sort of stuff. But I don't get to as much in class. So that, we'll see. But, um, I feel like now I'm definitely getting more advanced when it comes to turns. And so, yeah. And stuff. Yes, I still struggle with, like, the leg hold turns. The flexibility turns or turns when your leg up really high. But I feel like even now, I literally, the other day, there's a basic turn called a pirouette, and it's one of the more easy turns that I have always struggled with because your leg, basically your supporting leg, which is what you're turning on, is straight on arabesque, you know, like arabesque straight leg, and, and then your other leg is kind of like angled. Let me kind of show you. Let me hold on in the ballet bar. Like, it's angled. It's at an angle. So, I have always struggled with doing that and that and completing a full turn. The other day, I was nailing them like it was easy. Which it is kind of easy. So, yeah. Music video tomorrow. I am gonna log off. Or, um, in the video. And I can't wait for my turning board thing to get here. Hopefully tomorrow. Maybe not. We'll see. Today I didn't have school, but that was because it's a holiday. And I'm starting to think because it's a holiday, like, maybe there's no dance. I don't know.